Welcome to Gregolis TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Our first story is a Galaxy Z Fold 6. I finally got my first update and it ended up being a security update, which was what we would kind of expect it at this point. Overall stability of your device has been improved. The security of your device has been improved, but it also says it's not limited to uh, device stability, new and other enhanced features, further improvements of performance. And it, the update was 454 megs and I got it late last night. Like I, or actually in the morning, I guess that I, I woke up at like two in the morning uh, for a real quick second and I noticed that I got the update and I, and I did the update. I haven't noticed anything in particular added, fixed or removed, but still check your Galaxy Z Fold 6 if you're in America at the very least. This update also was already pushed out in Korea and I assume other parts of the world. Now, if you haven't been hearing, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 hasn't really been selling that well. The sales for the Z Fold 5 and Z Fold 6 have been down year over year. And there was a tweet put out by Anthony the Galox who said, hey, Samsung, want to turn back the declining Z series? Follow these steps, reduce the Z Fold 6 to 1599, release the Z Fold Special Edition as the Z Fold 6 Ultra globally for 1899 and expand the marketing beyond just AI features. And I have to think about this one. I, I, I would say that you'd have to probably I, I agree with the, the price decrease. I think that's one of the major things keeping people away from this. Marketing it with AI features, they kind of do that with all the phones right now. And I think that's the hot topic with everybody. Apple included will be promoting AI features a lot. And again, everyone else is kind of doing the same thing for the most part. And there's only so many things you can say. I mean, you can say the camera's better, you can do this, but I mean, you have to expand that as well so to keep people's interest going. But Beyond the marketing side of it, I think the major point is to probably, right, have a Z Fold 6 and a Z Fold 6 Ultra or whatever version they're on at that point, 7, 7 Ultra. I think with the, the basic Z Fold 6, that should probably be down to maybe, let's go crazy here, $13.99 and the Ultra comes in at $15.99 with crazy specs maybe it doesn't have s pen support but it's thinner it's lighter uh it's got better cameras it's got some added features whatever those may, may be you have to differentiate the two bigger screens on the ultra smaller on the regular six but the six gets the s pen i don't know what you want to do maybe you want to throw the s pen in the ultra because you're calling it an ultra but ultimately definitely differentiate the two and that probably would help but the price i think is the hugest the biggest thing that's really keeping these phones to being um, sellout successes or being more popular in that regard. Um, I also think that, you know, with these big phones, I think the people, the females are probably turned off by a little bit, by a little bit because of how big it is, the, the phone that is, don't get your minds dirty. The other problem with it is, you know, in terms of it being so big is that, you know, it, it can break, it's mechanical. But they've been good about giving us free insurance this year. So I don't know. What do you guys think about them getting more sales for the Z Fold 6? Now, speaking of the special edition Galaxy Z Fold 6, also known as previously the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, we've heard about the cameras. And this is slightly infuriating for me anyway, even though I like the cameras on the Z Fold 6. And that is that the cameras on the Z Fold 6 Special Edition are due to be the same or nearly identical as the S24 Ultra with a 200 megapixel wide angle camera, not ultra wide, but just they call it a wide angle, 2X optical quality zoom camera. So it's literally gonna be an S24 Ultra camera on this Special Edition Z Fold 6. Man, there's really, of course you could say price and maybe it's gonna throw off the engineering of the back of the phone because the camera's gonna stick out. But uh, that's so infuriating. You know, we spend so much money on these phones. You spend basically 17, 1800 bucks before trade in sometimes more, sometimes less. And you don't get the best, especially with the cameras. And then you hear months later that that phone's gonna get the best camera. It's annoying. Super annoying. Yeah, and I know that the special edition will be more expensive, but it's still really, really annoying. Let me know your thoughts on this. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.